Oh, what is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. If you haven't uh, seen my channel before, make sure to drop a like and a comment, subscribe. My name's Joe, you can call me Slow Joe, and this is my 2009 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 that I'm preparing to race on Sebring. This is technically episode three of Race to Sebring. Today, we're gonna replace our coolant temp sensor. Not the actual sensor, but the harness. Um, the pigtail on this thing is completely shot. And basically what's happening is under wide open throttle or just any kind of blip of the throttle, the pigtail is falling out of position and shooting a either a insanely high coolant temp signal or a no signal at all. And when you're on the racetrack for 20, 30 minutes at a given time, your coolant temperature is gonna get a little warm. So it's important that you have the opportunity to track it um, for two reasons. One, it's gonna drive your car nuts if it doesn't know what the coolant temp is. The computer's gonna think the car's hot potentially or nothing at all. Um, or two, worst case scenario, you blow this thing out to smithereens because you overheat the crap out of it. So, gotta go ahead and I bought an AC Delco repairman kit here. Just gotta go ahead and cut this one up, play a little bit of electrician, plug it back in, and see how it reads. Let's get started. Really been a fan of electrical at all, especially on a car with sensitivities and all those different things that kind of go into play. But I did buy the AC Delco pretty much harness replacement. I believe it fits in multiple locations. I already test fitted it there for the coolant temp. It looks to be just fine. Uh, the wiring is two blacks here. There's no really distinct wire here. And on there, the wirings are two yellows. So it's not like I can color code it. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align how this would plug directly into the coolant temp uh, sensor. And I'm gonna route it up and basically the same way that that one would harness on, I'm just gonna match those two wires, um, cut those, get it here. And then I have a little bit of uh, some connectors there to splice in, heat it up and kind of shrink wrap it onto the wire and start her up and see how it runs. Like if I align these two up, right, this in, this harness is, is a, this pigtail, sorry, is a little bit larger, but I've already lined it up. It looks like it plugs in just fine. Um, there's a darker orange cable, which is pretty much letter A here. Um, and then this lighter yellow, which is B. So I'm basically gonna slide this heat wrap a little bit further back, chomp it here, kind of do a similar, well, I'm gonna leave these at this length for now, um, then kind of splice it together and then plug it in and see if I get signal. Guys, I don't want to get too, too excited, but I am really, really optimistic about how the car is performing thus far. Obviously, you just watched me change the coolant temp sensor pigtail. Um, now it's nice and snug. It's holding. I can get on it. It doesn't lose signal at any point. Um, I took it for a short drive, not very far, mainly because I'm still running the O'Reilly's oil. And I really wasn't super focused on having it exactly at the three bar level or anything like that. I put in about 10 quarts of oil which this car could take, I believe, up to 11. Um, so I just put enough so the car can function safely and stuff like that and just kind of flush the system. But I don't want to get my hopes up. Again, I'm really optimistic though. The car is running as good as it's ever ran. It hasn't been started in over a week. Started it up today. Started up without the slow start condition, without the rough idle, nothing pissing its pants on the bottom of the car. Um, and it's running as mean as it's ever ran. Um, again, Right now, my, my only focus is get the O'Reilly's conventional oil drained out of it, put my Motul oil in it, which is a 5W40 instead of a 5W30, just to kind of try to bump up my oil pressure just a little smidge. Um, 
I'm gonna put a new filter on it and then I'm gonna take it for about a 20, 30 minute drive, maybe something a little bit longer distance, not just short burst where it gets to cool off quickly and get back in the garage. Take it for a longer ride, see how it does. Um, and we'll cut to that because I'm not gonna record doing another oil change. We did that in the last video. So uh, we'll cut to me actually doing the final test drive on this and getting it one step closer to Sebring. Might be changing to Homestead. We'll stick around for that part. But if you've watched so far this long, smash that like button. It really does make a difference. Subscribe, please, um, just to help the channel grow. Got some future videos coming too, and I know I'm jumping ahead here, but we got all the brake rotors, Hawk DTC pads. I'm not focused on that today, but I will be doing that in the coming week. And I just received my LG Motorsports uh, front and rear tow hook. I did order the ZL1 add-on just to kind of have that tow hook kind of bent in the front. I'll show you guys in that video, but that hasn't arrived yet. So once that arrives, I'll do the tow hook setup as well. And at that point, it should be ready to rock and roll. Let's hope. I'm gonna change the oil now and I'll see you in just a second. So the oil's been changed on it. It's pretty much ready to rock and roll. I unfortunately promised my wife that I would take her out for a nice little lunch. So Vader's gonna have to wait till tomorrow to actually get a test rip uh, for about 20, 30 minute drive. Fortunately for you guys, you only gotta wait till the next clip, but I'll see you then. Yeah, like I said, you guys just had to wait till the next clip. I did just drive it for about 10 minutes and I was low on fuel, so I stopped to get fuel. Cooling temp looks phenomenal. Now, unfortunately I'm on a road where a lot of people tend to race. Um, and this car tends to attract a little bit of attention. Um, I'm not looking for a race today. I'm just looking to see what the car does and how it responds. But I've already had a couple people look to challenge me just getting to that gas station. But uh, like I said, that's not what today's for. Today is just to uh, make sure it runs. You ain't gonna see it on camera, but there's an M6 or an M8 and a GTR racing to the left of me um, out here in Mexico and a Charger. They did just see me drive by, so it looks like they might try to catch up to me in a second, but like I said, it's not what today's for. Right now I'm doing basic driving, keeping it nice and normal, like if I was driving to the grocery store. Um, and then we'll give it a little bit more. Let's put the AC on, see how that does. And again, I'm just seeing, can the car hold temperature? Are we still leaking coolant, you know, from that uh, whole situation we had with the cylinder head gaskets? Everything looks really, really good. Actually, probably better than what it was before. So I'm really, really happy with how the car is driving so far. Let's put some heat in the motor now. That's not a good thing, but not over 196, baby. 198 now, but doing good. Whew. Feels good for Vader to be back. It is running tippy top. Easy a couple pulls, 201, 203. That is stupid low, to be honest. Um, running really, really good. Um, all I was looking for was temperature climb and pretty much how it responded. It is ready to kill. I'm excited. I'm back. I feel like the car's ready. I feel like me and Vader are on the same page right now. We're gonna ride this wave, get those brakes installed, get the tow hooks installed, and get this thing out on track. It needs to be out on track. 